Do you want to talk about our favorite dad jokes? I don't have one. I don't have a favorite. <laughs> well, no, there's plenty. But of we should revisit that topic. Yeah. Sure. And we should come prepared. Yeah, we should. And do a dad joke off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all right. You know, fall's my favorite season. I just, the weather's lovely, you, there's holidays, and like, you just want to get everyone together for a party. Yeah. yeah. The smell so, of fall is The smell of fall. Yeah. Pumpkin, pumpkin, pumpkin candles. candles. Pumpkin scented candles. Pumpkin, pumpkin scented candles. anything. Oh gosh. <laughs> pumpkin latte. We'll probably get to that. I'm wanting to discuss and make right now a punch. Nice. Ooh. I think this is gonna be challenging only in that normally this recipe makes like a huge punch bowl. We've already got ice in our rocks glasses with the garnish, which are little cute shreds of orange. Beautiful. Oh, cute. Love it. We will start by pouring in the booze. <gasps> Daniel, what? you love this. Legacy. Talk about it. Oh, Legacy Canadian what is, whiskey. Oh, I was gonna ask, what is it? Canadian it is whiskey. Canadian whiskey. It's delicious. It's it's an absolute must. This punch calls for a lot Bucket. of whiskey. Yeah. So I figured I'd do the shot. We're you know splitting it up into a glass, but then there's not much left in this, so let's just let's just kill it. Kill it. Thank you, oh. Canada. <laughs> well done. Every drop. Orange bitters. Mm -hmm. Very fun. I'm gonna put what is orange three bitters? dabs. Um, so it's like Angostura bitters, only it's orange flavored. The most important ingredient in this punch, and this is actually a recipe that I found and have completely adjusted. In this shaker is orange juice. Mm -hmm. However, my twist was I mulled the orange juice with some mulling spices. You can get mulling spices anywhere, but these are great. And you put, you know, follow the recipe, you put them in one of those, those um, balls. Kind of mesh balls, mm -hmm. and then you just uh, simmer it for 20 minutes and then keep the ball in there while it cools and then pour it into something that you could, like a jar or whatever you can put in the fridge so it's cold. But this... Chill that shit. Chill that shit. This is the mulled orange juice that is my secret ingredient. Mm. So the recipe calls for pretty much equal parts whiskey, the orange juice, and club soda. So we'll just top ourselves off with some club soda. Topo Chico. I love Topo The trusted Chico. brand. Give it a little stir. Now I did not wash my hands. Well then, <laughs> there you go. Is it ready it for really good. imbibement? I think so. Imbibe away. Mm. Cheers. Oh, cheers. Oh, right, sorry. <laughs> to fall, to, <laughs> to pumpkins, fall. to leaves, to School starting again. To now, holidays. Holidays. So many holidays. Holidays. In the fall. This is really good. Job. I love holidays. Sorority girls love pumpkin spice. <laughs> You're the first to hate on sorority girls. First. What I'm sorority hate. girl hurt you, Dan? I am. Uh, I am a sorority girl at heart. They wouldn't <laughs> let me in, so maybe that's, <laughs> that's why. That's why he's mad. Uh, yeah. uh -huh. Basic bitches. I think mm -hmm. it ties in with pumpkin spice lattes. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin is such a versatile flavor as the base of all kinds of... For hundreds of thousands of years. You know, I went to the store and uh, they had pumpkin condoms. <laughs> Shut up. No, they did. did. No oh, way. Yes. Okay, that's a little out of control. Yeah, and they were not just orange, the condom itself, but they were scented and supposedly taste like pumpkin. Pumpkin for your penis. Pumpkin for your penis! <laughs> so tonight I thought it would be fun for us to try some pumpkin inspired treats, some treats that incorporate like good <laughs> pumpkin. Not the Starbucks Not bad, right. right. Not like PSL pumpkin. We were talking like actual, like real, like treats made with love. Correct, these were actually made by my talented sister, Amy. <gasps> Yay, Amy! Eat me cookies and cakes. Eat go. me. <laughs> <laughs> get. I like that name, it's mm -hmm. sort of dirty. Get in my belly. So the first treat that Amy's made for us tonight is a pumpkin turnover. Ooh. These look amazing. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? That was really cool. Dig in. Yes. Everybody just grab one. <sighs> Enjoy. I want this one. Oh my god, they look so wonderful. They look really messy. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. This is really good. This is not basic at all. No. no. 
See, this is how you do pumpkin right. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. there's the basic. I see it. The pumpkin's in the middle. <laughs> Found the basic. <laughs> Not at all. I love the frosting on top and the mm -hmm. flakiness. So you can have this size. for like breakfast or in the morning or a little night out or a little picnic, right? On the garden, mm -hmm. you dip it in your fall punch. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. oh wow. Okay, girl. <laughs> Go for it. Now there's alcohol in it, too. Yeah. Bravo, Amy. Bravo. 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 <laughs> so, the next treat Amy's made for us tonight is uh, something that Anthony, I thought you could introduce for us because it is a uh, has a little south of the border flavor to it. Oh, the pumpkin chorros? <laughs> Precisely. <laughs> Look at the curly one. Look at Ooh. these. These look amazing. I got an S-shaped one. I got a U-shaped one. Oh, Ooh, we should spell things out. I got an N-shaped one. <laughs> what is that? No, I have an N-shaped one. So these are um, traditional churros mm -hmm. with the fried dough, but there's obviously pumpkin puree these and so spices good. mixed in. The it. pumpkin is very subtle, and that's totally fine. Mm. Yeah. I mean, you can never go wrong with the chorro. Right? Gotta remember to roll those R's. Churro. Huh? How do you say it? Churro. There you go. Mm. Good, right? I'm gonna use that for you. <laughs> Is that your second one? Don't judge me. <laughs> These are good. This one is uh, a little colder than the last. <gasps> is it ice cream? Can I do it? <laughs> go ahead. Now we're gonna have pumpkin ice cream. It worked. Oh my Ooh. god. <laughs> hey, you're pretty good at that. This looks a little That's bit amazing. like golden crisp. Mm. Now this is a uh, no churn pumpkin ice cream, no which pumpkin. means that it's really just whipped cream and sweetened condensed milk. And what is this on top? The little crumbles? It is pie crust. Pie crust. Okay. What? Get in mm. my mouth. Mm. It tastes like a cold pumpkin pie. Yeah. Mm. This is amazing, mm -hmm. Amy. This is Eat awesome. me. <laughs> yes, man. This is so good. Mm. I can feel my pancreas just shutting the fuck down. I can feel my waist. Expanding. Mm -hmm. I have to run 12 miles tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Why did you say pancreas? All right, we've got another tree. Ah! Yes. Dan, I want you to try to guess what it is. Oh my God, is it a cranberry pumpkin cheesecake? Well, God damn it. Ah, Why yes! Just bring it in for us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I love that this keeps happening. That was oh amazing. My God! This is how I cook at home. No messy kitchen. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so this goodness. is, uh, this has a uh, ginger snap crust. So I mean, it's like holiday overload here, mm. but we are gonna dive in. Oh Holy gosh. moly. Mm. So decadent. Um, a combination of ricotta and mars... Mars Capone. Mars, mars Capone. Mars Capone? That's the one. Ooh, that's mm -hmm. fun. Like Al Capone. Yeah. So I don't know, does that make it better for you? Yes. Let's yes. just go with yes. Yes. Yeah. Zero calories. Zero, zero calories. You know what's funny is I don't even really like cheesecake with the ricotta cheese. I love cheesecake with like mm -hmm. cream cheese. And this is amazing. It's that pumpkin. It's so delicious. The pumpkin just brings it all together. Bravo, Amy. Brava. There ain't nothing basic about any of this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, ma'am. Mm -hmm. This is some high end fucking shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amy, is this on your menu? She said, yeah. I thought we weren't supposed to eat on camera. So those are all very good. Mm -hmm. Thank those, you, Amy. It's yeah. great and paired with the drink. It's not pumpkin overload, but it's pumpkin perfection. Mm -hmm. However, as creative and talented as Amy is with sweet treats, I thought it'd be fun for us to try maybe a savory, kind of the opposite end of the spectrum for the pumpkin flavor. Okay. Oh, wow, okay. This is a vegan pumpkin cheese dip. Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? Ew. I wanted to try what? I wanted to try something that might gross us out a little bit. This is a recipe from Hot for Food, the YouTube channel. We'll link below. We're gonna try this vegan pumpkin cheese dip. Why don't we all bring it in? So okay. on the count of three, ready? One, two, three. Alright. Pretzels! Alright, I think? love cheese. <laughs> cheese of any kind is my favorite yes. food. Mm -hmm. I wish you hadn't introduced us this vegan cheese. I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna keep because it open it's mind. Vegan? Because it's vegan? Well, no, because it's not cheese. <laughs> it's not cheese. Don't no. call it cheese if it ain't cheese. I'm it's not excited cheese. excited to try None it. Of us it are, looks fun. None of us are vegan. We'll call it Ez. <laughs> but we figured we'd give it a shot, so. <laughs> Alright, so dig in. Grab yourself a. <laughs> Chunk of pretzel. Oh. Everybody pull. Oh, I want my own bitch. Oh, I don't want this whole thing. Yeah. 
I'm not even sure I'm gonna like all this crazy cheese. If Amy made it, it's gonna taste delicious. That's true. If Amy made it, listen. You said you made it. I was very hesitant. I, you bitch, you don't cook. <laughs> no, I don't. It's not cheese, but it's good. It's, but it's not cheese. There's pumpkin in it. Oh, interesting. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You don't like it? No. Why? I don't like it. There's a weird flavor. I'm not sure if it's the. It tastes also that. It, it tastes expired. No, it does not. It doesn't. It's onion powder. No, I was gonna say it tastes like onion soup. Mm-hmm. It's onion powder. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you can taste you know what? like ruffles. But if it was warm or hot, maybe. Mm -hmm. So you're probably not gonna serve this at your next Super Bowl party. No. But as a dip on its own, it's not half bad. It's going on me. I wouldn't replace it with queso though. Of course not. What are you uh -uh. crazy? Hell no. Show this to somebody in Texas and tell them it's cheese dip, and they're gonna hog tie you. <laughs> <laughs> to their pick Some up. people might like it. Yeah. <laughs> you would. <laughs> well, so that was great. That was a lot of pumpkin that was not necessarily basic, but mm -hmm. all was delicious. And it ranged from simple to decadent and, you know, extreme. And vegan. And vegan was thrown <laughs> in there. So I think, I like that. We've reclaimed it a little bit. Could yeah. we just be basic? No, are you we are. basic? <laughs> what does it mean? What does it mean? What does it even mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? <laughs> Why? Well, no, a pumpkin is a type of squash. Something about a squash spice latte doesn't have the same ring to it.